on the sideline for the Aggies after taking over for Rod Broadway was the defensive coordinator there and North Carolina a and will miss half there and they'll get it up to the 10 yard line second down and eight fake the handoff now try and take off Carter gonna get away and he'll pick up a first down and more Aggies with a hot start out to the 38 yard line Carter's ability to protect the football He wants to throw it, but he sees the defender in his face He pulls the ball down doesn't allow Kwanzaa to make the tackle and he breaks to the outside and gets positive yards Trips to the left for North Carolina a and Carter wants that slant and it's incomplete Threw it into tight coverage that time Marquis Waters Start from the nine yard line after a penalty Harris over the middle short throw that time and he's got it complete to Aaron Young didn't get that vertical game going like they would have liked to but they were able to make those defenders you know get calls Harris another quick throw and it's Calhoun with his first catch the freshman those young guys I was just talking about They'd be able to notice now third down and 12 for the Blue Devils four-man rush throwing it over the middle and it is caught it's gonna be shy of the first down allow him to get the first down Duke going for it and North Carolina a and is gonna come up with a big defensive stop Antoine Wilder again you want to get ahead you don't want to give up any easy opportunities but you see Howard get penetration off the edge now it's Carter pressure coming the extra man on the blitz Carter's gonna call out for a block and he's gonna pick up and Aggie's first down Third down and eight, Carter again. Here comes that Duke blitz one more time. Boy, they are blitzing Carter to pieces. And he just has to throw it away. And it's up and good. Here at Duke, it's won his last seven home openers. He has set the culture and the expectations here in Durham. That's a nice throw. And maybe the best throw that he's had all season up to this point. Scott Bracey makes the catch, and he's got a Duke first down. Work in progress. Quentin Harris, senior quarterback at the helm here tonight, trying to dump this one off left side. Nice move there by Britton Brown as he makes one tackler miss. It's a first down for the Blue Devils, so we mark it at the 38-yard line. Fake it to Brown. Harris surveying the field. Goes long again. A man is open, and it's caught by Calhoun for the touchdown. A good job by Harris to wait and allow his receiver to break open. Number four, Miles Simon had him covered, but he tripped up at the last minute, and all the receiver Calhoun had to do was wait for the football to get there. Great to have you with us tonight on ACC Network. 13-yard line, the starting point for the Aggies. Carter wants to rifle it downfield. May have been deflected and caught. Oh, wow. How does he come up with that? Just past midfield, Elijah Bell. Makes his first catch. Adjustment while the ball is in the air. He's covered up pretty good, but you see him look back. He sees where the football is, and at the last minute, he makes an adjustment. Now for Carter and the Aggies offense. In motion is Chance Pride. Looking right, throwing, and incomplete. Good job of coverage by Leonard Johnson. Got in at just the right time, and it's fourth down. In for the Blue Devils. Harris, pressure backside, gets away from it. Quentin Harris. Trying to pick up the first down, and Stucky's going to take him down. He's going to be short. Team's trading punts now. Michael Rivers to kick it away. Blackwell backpedaling for Duke. He'll take it at the 16, and he'll be tackled immediately. Final five seconds of the first quarter. One more play for Harris. He gets this one off to Young. Aaron Young getting to the outside, and he's out of bounds. Taken out there by Antoine Wilder. Defending HBCU National Champions, North Carolina a and Giving their best tonight here at Wallace Wade. Harris trying to get out of trouble, and he's not going to get a first down. Again, a good stand by the Aggies defensively. Let's see, where are they going to mark the football here? Second time they've tried to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. And how about that from Coach Cutcliffe? Looks like they're going to pick up the first this time. That's right to that ball as the receiver does. Second down. Harris will take off. Big hole this time. Closes quickly, though, as he gets it 
Up near midfield. That should be enough for a first down to move the sticks. You can let the officials know they're not taking a cheap shot on them. Third down nine. Harris launching it. And way overthrowing his man. Looking for Aaron Young that time. Austin Parker, kick it away. On fourth and nine. Timing a little bit off for the Duke offense in this first half. Fair catch called for and then picked up at the 25-yard line. Dangerous play that time. Rushing story so far. Trips to the left now. Give it to Martin one more time. He is gaining ahead of steam. Jermaine Martin to the 30, 20, and he is going to go. Jermaine Martin racing to the paint. Aggies with the lead. And Brown came off the field a little gingerly that time. Looks like he was shaken up on the last play. Now it's Deion Jackson trying to get going. That's his best run of the game. It's very difficult for offensive linemen to get under the block. He played linebacker last year. He's moved down the defensive end, which lets me know he's a very quick player. Harris over the middle. And this is going to be a little bit short, or did that second effort, the very end by Noah Gray, give him the first down? It's going to be very close. And I like what 41 Trey Smalls is doing on the outside. He's able to get outside and make plays with pursuit and getting up the field. They hand it off. It's Jackson. Give it to one of your best players. He put it on the ground, and the Aggies have recovered. Joseph Stuckey has it. And it'll be North at Carolina a and football. You see Jackson trying to fall forward to get the first down, but watch number 21 come flying in right here. Actually, it wasn't 21. It was number 54, Kyron Howard, that stuck his hand in there, the leading tackler, and knocked that ball loose. Watch number 54 right here. Boom, knocks the ball loose. A great job by the defense to knock that ball loose and get it recovered. Aggies need four. Carter's not going to get it. Blue Devils all over him. Eventually thrown down by Kobe Kwanzaa. Uh, take an inside look at one of the great walk-on stories in the history of college football. Duke trying to get going offensively before halftime. As Quentin Harris able to take it across the 30-yard line, does pick up a first down. His big plays are usually made after contact. Four wideouts now for Duke. Empty backfield for Harris. He'll throw it to Calhoun. Nice move there. And Jalen Calhoun across the 40-yard line. Third down's been an adventure tonight for Duke. Here they need four. Harris calls his own number again. Fighting to try and get to that first down marker. Fresh set of downs for the Blue Devils. Harris looking for the long one again. Seam route is caught. Nice play that time by Scott Bracey, the junior wideout. Man pass rush. Right now, the three man pass rush. They're not getting any pressure on Harris. You're allowing. And get the timing down with Harris. This Duke offense can be something special. Another quick one. It's caught inside the 10 and into the end zone. Mateo Durant for the touchdown. Harris waited and allowed those linebackers to come down. And once they did, his receiver was able to come across. And there's nothing at the second level because the linebackers are up in those gaps trying to get to. First down for the Aggies. Carter will loft it towards the sideline. It's Bell going up to get it. The ball comes out, though. It's going to be a fumble, and Duke's going to have the football. The defender. You see the ball is lofted. A good job by Carter. Bell gets it. And you see, I wonder if they're going to say he had possession of the football. If I'm a and I'm trying to challenge that play because I don't know if he was able to really have possession and make a football move. Is the ball moving as he's trying to gather it and bring it close to his body is the question that I would have. Here tonight, and now a fumble. Harris back to work. Throws it downfield. It's caught. Touchdown! Flag is down at the 45-yard line, so we'll check that. This one could be coming back, and if it does, it'll be a shame. It looked like this was going to be called back, but it is, in fact, a roughing the passer. There is the shot. 
to the head. So getting in there was Kadarius Kendrick. Well, a good job by Harris to pick the ball up and not panic on the low snap. You see him look to the left. He goes through his progressions, and he lays the ball up. Where his receiver, Panko, can run under it and get the easy six. I don't want to give this ball back to a hot Duke offense. Carter stepping in. Trying that left side. Looking for Bell, and it's incomplete. He's gotten pressure a couple times tonight. Not been able to block one, though. This one will get away easily. Blackwell. Will catch at the 29. Try and make a quick move. Look out. Josh Blackwell. That'll get the crowd going to the 45-yard line. Duke will have it in great field position. Got a quarterback that's feeling himself and feeling good about what he's doing. But a good job right here breaking the initial tackle, getting to where his blockers were and getting up the field and getting positive yards, putting his offense in a great position. A four-man uh, front. Harris stepping into this one. Hits his big tight end, Noah Gray. Noah Gray, the former high school quarterback, has a chance to be one of the great players in Duke football history. Duke needs one here. And they'll get it. And a lot more. Jackson starting to get going. To the 12-yard line, and they'll move the sticks again. Coach Cutcliffe said he wants to see more tempo with this Duke offense. They're bringing that right now. Harris for the touchdown. In making athleticism, you see right here, he tucks the ball and he sees the hole and you see him put his head down. He has enough speed. Starting in place of the injured Jake Bobo. Taking advantage of the opportunity. Another catch this time by Jackson. With Duke up 18 here in the third quarter. Harris will take off himself. He's done this a lot tonight. To the 45-yard line. He saw yards. He got as many positive yards as he could, and he got down to avoid being hit by the defenders. A good job. Just saying the same thing right now in complete disbelief. Aggies get a break for sure. Back on the ground to Duran. Mateo Duran with a touchdown catch. They trail by 18 here in Durham tonight. Carter. Unsure from the get-go on that one ball tipped away and that was simply not a pretty play Team's trading punts now Michael Rivers to kick it away bobbles this one and it's blocked Finally the Blue Devils get to him and they'll cover it near the 30-yard line Particular play was one of those plays where they brought pressure and the punter bobbled the football which you knew was a recipe for disaster you see right there, you've got to squeeze it and you've got to get rid of it. And he knows it. He can see the pressure uh, from their alignment. Brings up third and ten. Watch how fast the Aggies come off the line of scrimmage here. Four-man rush. Lofting it is Harris. Incomplete. Scott Bracey was the intended receiver. Got the distance. They run the ball effectively in the middle of this defense against this 4-2-5. That's what I'd like to see them do, run the ball more effectively in the middle of the defense. Carter getting away, and he'll race towards the sideline. Khalil Carter, so much fight. Good job of fighting through those arm tackles. You see the good ball fake, and he's on the outside, and he faked out the safety. Then he breaks an arm tackle, breaks another arm tackle, then he looks and he sees the defender coming. First down now for the Aggies. Carter wants to throw it. He'll loft it. Left side. Got a man. It's caught. Corey Banks makes the grab. Bounds. We'll check the replay. And that's a great job by Banks adjusting his body on this catch. I thought he had it. Ooh. He caught that one foot Ooh. down. Now the question is, did the ball move when he hit the ground? Now, I don't think the ball moved. From that angle, it doesn't look like the ball moved. Does the ball move? Oh, he's got possession there. Fall. I think that's a catch. Oh. I think anybody's teaching Jerry Rice anything on that outside. <laughs> uh, Carter back to work. Throws it left side. And incomplete. Was looking for Zach Leslie. A late flag comes out. Jordan McDaniel in motion. He's the slot guy. Carter under heavy pressure and has to get rid of it quickly. And a flag is going to come down here. North Carolina A&T trying to cut into the Duke lead. Hand it off to Martin, and he's going to be cut down. Not much there. 
and then they're also looking to see if he hit him above the shoulder pads. They're protecting the quarterback, so if they get hit anywhere in the helmet, they're going to make that call. Carter looking for some real estate, and that's just great coverage. Trevon McSwain and the avalanche of Blue Devils eventually getting to him. Because they need three touchdowns. But you see Carter, he has nowhere to go with the football. They've got a four-man pass rush. When you can get pressure with four, and you've got seven in coverage with the field being as short as it is. Carter wants the end zone and not even close running out of bounds is Leslie six yard attempt he was the hero last week has a big one tonight and he is on a roll for North Carolina give up 36 points after being up big on Boise now you've got ULM coming out after being up 21 nothing now Florida State is down 31 to 35 now it's Harris surveying the field Tries to get out of trouble. Nicely done by Quentin Harris. Gets near that first down marker, second effort. And let's see where they're going to mark the football here. And they will say it is a first down. Again, that's just a great play by the junior quarterback. As the game has gone along. Second and seven now. Harris to throw once more. Over the middle. That short game has been effective. Calhoun, another catch in a first down. Take it one way. Now throw back that way with Durant. Breaks one tackle. Takes it inside the 40. Oh, there's so much that this number 21 can do with the football. No question, it's McNeil number 24. Harris under pressure gets it away, and it's Calhoun with it. To the 25, first down Duke. Turn just 27% of their catches from a season ago. Knew it was going to be tough to rebuild. Now they certainly have done that here tonight with Calhoun to the outside, shaking a defender, staying on his feet, and scoring! And for Duke fans, you've got to love this because you've got three more years of this young man. You see him, you see the vision to get to the outside, the stiff arm, the fake to get back to the inside, inside then the balance to break a tackle and get to the end zone. All of the little intangibles that you want to see from your quarterback. Harris knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football as soon as he got possession of it from the center. And Forrest, if you are Duke, and really if you're any team across the country, this is why you... Connect. Zach Leslie able to squeeze it. They'll move the chains. By the defensive line from Duke. You see guys coming up, guys looping around, linebackers coming on delayed blitzes. A good job by the offensive line. And a good read by Carter on that play. It's over 100 passing yards for Carter. Option time. There's the pitch. Not much doing there. Good job keeping contained. Jalen Alexander. Blue Devils showing blitz once again. Come back this time. Here's another option play. Darius Graves just nowhere to go. Just playing right into that Duke speed. And you really see what this defense is capable of. Down in Atlanta. Toss this one right. Blue Devils. Daryl Harding Jr. Good chance for reps by this Blue Devils offense. Four wins in 2016. Last season, eight wins. Starting to trend up once more. Coach Cutcliffe wants to get this program back to where they're competing for ACC championships. And with backs like Deion Jackson, they're going to be doing just that. Down moving forward, especially in ACC play. Harris ridden down. 26-yard line. Quinton Harris back in the game at quarterback for Duke. After hobbling off just moments ago. Harris will have a first down as he sticks his head down. And again, you got to wonder as he gets it. Good chance, though, to get some playing time. And he'll go to the air. Has his man inside the five. It's caught. And that's Harding Jr. who is making plays here in the fourth quarter. First and goal. To see how their goal line offense works and for A&T to see if they can get a stop on the goal line with their defense. Durant denied again. Jacob Roberts. You want to get in a four-point stance to try and get as low as possible to uproot those guys. 
Run right behind the center, and a touchdown for Duke. Mateo Duran, his second touchdown of the night. There's the official signal. And I think they just wore down this a &T defense. You see the offensive lineman getting pushed on that play. You see the white jerseys going backwards because the low man wins every time on the goal line. Double lead for Duke. Fowler. Got to get rid of it or he's going to pay for it. Too much speed on this Duke defense. They come away with the football. I want you to look at number 74 if you can see him on this play. He body slammed. One of the players from Duke. I know they gave up the fumble on that play, but I think it should be highlighted. That was a great play. Watch number 74, the guard up top. That's what you want to do to the guy. Take out your frustrations on a defender. He got up and celebrated, not knowing that his quarterback had fumbled. He's still giving effort. Katrenik now tries to throw it over the middle. It's intercepted. Aggie is able to force a turnover. Joseph Stuckey comes up with the pick, and that is another example of the fight coming out of the Aggies tonight. Still give maximum effort. And that's a good job reading the quarterback's eyes, getting his hands up by Joseph Stuckey. Fine. Good discussions here tonight from Durham on the ACC Network. Jalen Fowler trying to use his athletic ability. It was a fumble. As we looked at it in slow motion, I thought it may not have been. I think one of the things that I thought uh, a and coaching staff, he had a good start last week getting the win over Elon. This was just a tough ball game for he and his uh, teammates. One now. Katrenik working out of the shotgun. Blue Devils trying to get the first down. I believe they're going to give it to them, and then after that, they can pretty much just run out the clock. They did some really good things early in the ball game. I just, I think attrition started to take place because those guys started to get gassed at the end of this ball game. Blue Devils not done just yet. Everybody getting involved now. Katrenik looks up the clock. This could very well be the final play. And it looks like it's going to be Kadarius Kendrick in the backfield. That'll pretty much do it from Durham. Quentin Harris, a good night for Duke. Slow start, but a strong finish. The Blue Devils accept the challenge of North Carolina A&T. A very stingy Aggies group, and they roll in the home opener, 45-13.